Mel Giedwatch has made the heartbreaking decision to pull out of the upcoming pantomime Mother Goose due to personal reasons. Mel Giedwatch, 54, had been due to star in a touring production of Mother Goose alongside Sir Ian McKellen and John Bishop, however, breaking the news today the comedian has been forced to pull out. In a statement, Mel admitted she had to make the difficult decision to step away from the panto due to personal reasons. Mel and ATG Productions confirmed today that the presenter had officially withdrawn from Mother Goose. The statement read, due to personal reasons, I have made the difficult decision to withdraw from the forthcoming production of Mother Goose. I am thankful to the producers of the show for being so understanding and wish everyone involved in the production a fantastic tour throughout the UK and Ireland. Now, more than ever we all need a bit of joy. And I can't wait to see it myself. I know it is going to be fantastic. The press release also stated that everyone in the show sends love and best wishes to Mel and her family. A replacement has not been announced yet, with the former Great British Bake Off host previously set to play the main role, but ATG Productions have confirmed the role is being recast. Written by Coronation Street's Jonathan Harvey and directed by Cal McChrystal. The show tells the story of Mother Goose and her husband Vic, who run an animal sanctuary and live in an abandoned Debenham store. However, the couple's lives are turned upside down when they are met with the unexpected arrival of a goose. The production is due to open at the Theatre Royal Brighton from 3 to the 11th of December before a West End run at the Duke of York's Theatre between the 15th of December and the 29th of January. The show will also star Oscar Conlon Mori as Jack. Simbi Akand as Jill, Sharon Ballard as Evil Fairy Malignia and Karen Mavundakor as Good Fairy Encanta. Sir Ian spoke about the upcoming panto at the launch show, a mere two weeks ago. He admitted, it is a serious story told comically. It is about good and bad, and of course, good always triumphs in a pantomime. 